Cooper Show. Ah, uh, it's me again. It's been over two years since I've done a video. And uh, long story short, I took a job at Amazon and it basically consumed all my time. So I worked there a year and a half, over a year and a half. And then I've got a government position now. Um, it's all hush hush. I can't tell you. Actually, it's not that impressive. I'm an IT specialist. So I'm just like, you know, I'm basically a peon. So, you know, anyway, uh, I'm going to do a few more videos now. I got some free time. So I'm going to try to do that. It may be a few days. It may be a few weeks. It may be a month, but I'm going to try to do more videos. And I felt like the best thing to do now is to talk about taking this security plus because I just took it. So I figured, Hey, it's a good time to do a video. Um, Pretty much used the same study material as last time. Um, Daryl Gibson. I used the updated one for this 401. Um, SY0-401. Sounds so official. Um, I used this. And this is by Arthur Conklin and Gregory White. They're both PhDs, so they know some shit. And I also use this by Daryl Gibson, some practice test questions, and this as well, the Security Plus by, who's this by, McGraw-Hill? Yeah, McGraw-Hill. Um, <laughs> I barely even looked at these. I skimmed through this. I skimmed through this. I watched some Professor Messer videos. I probably spent 12 to 15 hours studying in total because um, my A plus, net plus, security plus are due to expire in June, uh, towards the end of June. And I was planning on taking, a, you know, two and a half months to study and take it. But, I, you know, the other day I was like, you know, what the hell with this? I'm going to take it in a few days. So I basically just sat down and watched some videos. Actually, I looked at, uh, I watched a few Professor Messer videos and I looked at a few videos on lynda.com. Mike Chapel has uh, some Security Plus tutorials. They're actually okay as well. Um, but yeah, between a few hours there and uh, ugh, about 10 hours here, maybe, um, I really wasted some money because these practice test questions, you don't need that shit. Um, honestly, get this book, you'll be fine. And you want to go all out, get this book. If you read both these from front to back, you'll be fine. Now, a few years ago when I took this exam, in 2014, it was June of 2014, I put over a month into it, I'd say, probably. Um, and I had just come off the uh, Net Plus, so some of the information was transferable. You know, like, you know, port numbers and stuff like that. Which, by the way, uh, I had a few questions on this. Um, you really need not just to know the port numbers, you have to know if it's TCP or UDP or both. So know that because I had a simulator question and I had to do an access control list and the port I had to know is really important that I actually knew which, if it was TCP, UDP or both. And that there's a few like that, like DNS, know if it's UDP or TCP. Okay. So if it's like name resolution or if it's a zone transfer, know which is which. That's really important. So dive deep into that stuff um, for this. I thought the exam was a little tougher, but again, I wasn't nearly as prepared. I mean, last time I took it, I think I, I missed a handful of questions. This time I passed by a handful of questions. So it was a lot tougher. I would have been really salty if I would have failed because it, like I said, I just said, fuck it. I'm going to take it in a few days. And that's what I did. And now I'm done. I don't have to worry about it for fear. So I don't care anymore. I know there's, I was thinking about taking the, uh, there's a cybersecurity exam from CompTIA now, but there's no study material. So I'm not going to take an exam with no study material. So I think there's some, I think there's a book coming out at the end of this month for it. Uh, but I didn't feel like a month and a half, two months was enough time to prepare. Take it. What if I fail? And then this is going to run out and then I have to go, oh God, I'm going to lose all three of these certifications. And, um, that's it. Also, you might be asking, why the fuck do you care about Security Plus? Because it's not really that important. I am in government. I don't know where I'm going to be at down the road. So I think it's good to have that just in case, you know, DOD type thing. So I don't know. I don't want to lose my A plus and net plus and well, the Security Plus too. So is it really worth it? I don't know. Because if you think you're going to make 90,000, whatever it is, 
whatever the, the numbers they push out to have this certification, you're fucking fooling yourself because you're not going to make 98,000 showing someone security plus. Okay. Most of these people already have these positions and they're already making this money or they're close to it and they just need, you know, to fulfill HR requirements or something. Um, so don't kid yourself, but I just want to have it for now for down the road. I figure it couldn't hurt. Um, it's 320 bucks now. You can get it for 288 with a 10% off voucher. So that's pretty good. So just, you know, search that online. You find it. It's pretty painless. I think it's 90 minutes, this exam. I used almost every minute. I got down to the last two minutes. You know, halfway through this exam, I was thinking, I'm going to fail this damn thing. I've taken ITIL, taken Microsoft, Apple, a few CompTIA. I've never had that feeling like I did during this exam. Honestly, halfway through, I was like, I think I'm going to fucking fail this thing. And then I got to the last few questions, and I was thinking, I think I fucking failed this thing. Somehow, when I ran the, uh, the thing at the end, it came up passing. I couldn't believe it. I was shocked. So now I'm good for a few years. So again, I'd say Professor Messer videos. Actually, if you want to go bare bones and you really want to study hard for a month, Professor Messer videos. He also has a PDF uh, study guide which I definitely recommend you get. It's I got the last one. I didn't get it for this one. It was, I think, $10 or $20. By the way, he also has a new Cisco, a CCNA one. Um, I just bought that. It's $20. It's a little pricey. I don't know if the juice is worth the squeeze. I haven't quite gone through it yet, but um, he does, like I said, have a Security Plus one for this SY0-401. So official. And so if you get the Professor Messer video, or watch the Professor Messer videos, get the PDF file. Definitely, if you get one book, get this book. You don't need to worry about the practice test questions and all that bullshit. Get this book. Go through this from front to back. You, it's good. And also go to Daryl Gibson, his uh, website. Uh, it's like Get Certified, Get Ahead or something. Yeah. Get Certified, Get Head. And then if you want to get another book, this book is very good too. Um, it's from uh, Arthur Conklin and Gregory White. They're both PhDs, so they must know something. So that's going to conclude this video uh, on Security Plus and taking exams. And sorry I haven't updated videos in forever. I've been a little busy. Uh, I hope to have more videos. I, like I said, I don't know. It might be days, might be weeks, might be months. I don't know. I'm working on some stuff outside of this channel. So I'll see what I can do. But uh, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you later. <laughs>